Hi everybody, this is The Shot Clock. He's JJ, I'm Mark, and let's start the clock. So in 1978, Herm Edwards, in one play, changed the fortunes of two NFL franchises, the Giants and the Eagles, in a play that's in New York known as the Fumble, and in Philadelphia known as the Miracle in the Meadowlands. And from there, Herm went on to become an NFL head coach uh, in a couple of uh, stops. And he's been out of football for 10 years, and yet now maybe he's in a position to change the fortunes of another team, the Sun Devils. Oof. Yeah. There are a few who uh, think he would be changing their fortunes for the better right now. And Doug, our, our colleague Doug Haller, just uh, published a story a little bit ago this morning that talks about just kind of the odd nature of this entire thing, how this has turned into a Herm Edwards media tour. He was on Mike and Mike, he was on Doug and Wolf. If there are two radio hosts in the Valley, he will be there. Uh, so uh, no one really knows what, what to make of this. Sounds like Doug's getting some conflicting reports from boosters too, but what we've heard from the fans is hell no. I can't put my head around whether this is a good idea or not, but I will tell you that Herm Edwards is a great guy. And whether that's good enough to be the next level of coach at ASU, I don't know. But he really does care about his players. He, he actually has, when he was in New York coaching the Jets, he did a really good job of outreach to the media to help them understand some of the nuances of professional football. So from that standpoint, I do like the guy. Well, he would need that here. Uh, he would need to do a lot of outreach, both with the media and the fan base, if this thing is going to happen and he's going to pull it off. So continuing coverage uh, at AZ Central and the Arizona Republic as this thing unfolds. For now, we're out of time on the shot clock. Have, Have a great, great day, day, everybody.